So the version of Hamlet that most people are familiar with is in fact the second edition of Hamlet. One of the major differences is that the first edition of Hamlet is about half as long as the more familiar second edition. Characters have different names, the plot is slightly different, uh, the famous uh, to be or not to be uh, speech is also similar, but again noticeably different. Maybe the most famous line in English literature, to be or not to be, that is the question. In the first edition of Hamlet, it is to be or not to be I, there's the point, and the speech goes on and on with each line, similar but quite different. The first edition of Hamlet was published in 1603, but it was lost and wasn't rediscovered until 220 years later, in 1823, when uh, the only known copy was found in the closet of an English estate. It was noticeably play Hamlet, but it was also noticeably different. The question for scholars ever since then has been to try to understand what those differences come from. Are the first and second editions a draft and a final version? One revised maybe for a touring acting company, uh, perhaps even one is a pirated copy that was printed without uh, permission. So scholars have been trying to understand uh, what those differences mean exactly because that can tell them something about how Shakespeare wrote and worked, maybe how his contemporaries worked, and can shed light on the world of the English theatre uh, during that period.